today I'm reviewing the Ultra Wrist Groom Face Sunscreen SPF 50 and really quick I just want to say purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos so if you want to help support the channel check out nobsb.com, join my Patreon community or click on the link below. And I call this Ultra Wrist or Groom because the formula is the Ultra Wrist Sunscreen made in Germany. However, Groom is a brand uh, that packages it and sells it under their own name, but it also says Altruist Groom, and that says Altruist SPF 50. So I just want to make that clear. Um, Altruist is hard to get in the U.S., and Groom is available through Beauty Bay in the U.S., so there we go. Okay, the highest quality dermatologist-approved face sunscreen melts into the skin to protect against the damaging effects of the sun. With UVA and UVB SPF 50 protection, this water-resistant formula is hyperallergenic and easily absorbed, leaving no greasy residue on the surface of the complexion. Looking for a lightweight sunscreen, this is the one. I always have some snarky reaction to that, don't I? I'm sorry. I try not to, but I'm kind of snarky. No greasy residue? I don't think so, but it's almost better when you call it that, right? Okay. Uh, first criteria, packaging. No issues with the packaging. Although I will mention, what I love Groom, they always package everything in a square because they can ship more, and it's cheaper than having all the empty space versus like a circular bottle container. So I think that's pretty cool. And it takes up less space in my storage shelves. Okay, in terms of denatured or drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. Although maybe if it did, it wouldn't be as greasy as it is. I don't know. Uh, there's also no fragrance. The manufacturing location for this one is Germany, so no issues with that. For the SPF, we've got SPF 50. Good level. Usually the highest most countries allow you to put on the bottle. Unless you're in the U.S. and you see like 110, you see 70, you see like 200. And, like, by each, like, 20, 30 it goes up, the actual results are minimal. Um, although the UVA protection can go up. So, okay, so with the UVA protection, this has five stars, which is, I believe, what they use in several countries. Five stars means the best. For UVA filters, we've got avobenzone, titanium dioxide, nano, which isn't the best UVA filter. Uh, then we've got tinsorb A A2B and tinsorb S. So we've got a good amount of UVA filters in it. Uh, then in terms of the filters as a whole, we've got eight total filters in this sunscreen, making it one of the highly, highly recommended sunscreens for very sensitive skin, pale skin, people that are really want to protect their sun, skin cancer, things like that. So for filters, we've got octocrylene, which is something a lot of people are very sensitive to. So keep that in mind, a lot of skin, not a lot, but it happens more often than with other filters. A lot of people are allergic to it or sensitive to it. Um, UVB filter, a little bit in UVA range. We've got avobenzone, not my favorite filter to be honest. It's a UVA filter, the only UVA filter for a chemical sunscreen allowed in the U.S. Um, very unstable. You need to use with other filters for it to work properly. We've got octosylate, which is a uh, UVB filter. We've got titanium dioxide nano, and the nano means it's small particle size, which if you see titanium dioxide nano typically means it has better uvb coverage and lesser uva coverage and cameraman is yawning at the discussion of all the filters you can't contain his excitement for the sunscreens so the nano is a good thing for uvb protection but not a good thing for uva protection but it's still a physical sunscreen that typically filters the entire range then we've got juvenile t150 highest photostable uvb filter around then we've got Ensuilzoli, which is a chemical sunscreen that is a UVB filter. Um, Tinserv A2B, that is a uh, sunscreen that's a UVB and UVA2 filter. And then we've got Tinserv S, lots of Tinserbs. Uh, Tinserv S, UVB, UVA filter. And then on a note, it also contains non-nano titanium dioxide towards the end of the ingredient list, so I don't necessarily think that actually functions in there as a high sunscreen ingredient, but it is in there. So um, anyway, very impressive list of filters in this one. I think this is why people regard it so highly. Um, okay, so we'll do the uh, camera. I have the uh, Benton sunscreen on this hand, but I'm going to put the Ultrist on the other hand. This one I tested uh, more last summer and a little bit this winter. So let's go. So the texture of it, very creamy. Let's see, there you go. And even just a small amount is very dark. There we go. That looks a little bit more impressive than the Benton, in my opinion. 
The Benton is this one. This is the Altruist. So, I don't know. There we go. Pretty impressive coverage. What well, is just a touch streaky right where I initially applied it, but my hands, they look so messy. So, there we go. So, that, that one is the Altruist. <laughs> Bless you. Anyway, I'm just staring at it. I love that. Okay. So, uh, there is a light, light, light cast that disappears nearly immediately. I don't know if uh, deeper skin tones may notice it more, but it is super light and barely noticeable. Um, the texture, it's kind of an oily lotion texture. It sets to kind of a slightly shiny finish. Um, and throughout the day as it goes on, it gets a little bit shinier every hour. Um, the finish on it's slightly tacky. Not super elegant, not my favorite texture. It's kind of just an oily, greasy, lotiony texture to it. Um, for ease of use, it's very easy to apply. It smooths over skin. The oily water kind of uh, smooths over, sinks in, absorbs pretty quickly. Works okay under most products. Although, if you have oily skin already, you're definitely going to want to set this with a powder. And uh, perhaps even throughout the day. I, this, to be honest, this is not a sunscreen I reapply throughout the day. It is just not fun to reapply. I will apply a setting spray or a powder over it. But more than one layer of this one gets even more greasy and it just not very aesthetically pleasing to use. But if you're going to be outside or things like that, it's a good one. Uh, in terms of antioxidants and beneficial ingredients, there's really none at all. So it's got some slip ingredients. That's about it. Uh, in terms of acneogenic ingredients in this one, we've got three. We've got ceteral alcohol, glycerol stearate, and semethicone. Um, and then in terms of animal testing, this is vegan and cruelty-free. Performance, it actually does a pretty good job. Uh, it's a good one if it's very sunny out, you're going to be exercising. I will say it does sting my eyes a bit. I think it's probably because of the able benzone. But I never got red or freckled using this even during the summer. Although, if I'm going to be out all day, I'm probably going to pick a sunscreen that I don't mind reapplying. And this is just not one of those. It just gets greasier and greasier as the day goes on. Uh, then in terms of the price, what size is this? I don't even know. But the regular size, I have like a whole set that I got from Beauty Bay. I got, I think I got like three of them. Um, the regular full size is 50 milliliters, 1.7 ounces for about $10. So it's not very expensive. And I think you get two, two products with that. So I, don't, I got this and I got a bigger square one. Um, anyway, so not very expensive. Um, so with a 15 being a perfect score, this one got a 12. A lot of 12s lately. It's hard to get a 15. I can't think of... Any sunscreen in the last 12 months I've re reviewed that's got a 15. I think we had one 14, but um, anyway. So anyway, those are my thoughts on it. Interesting hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to check this one out yet or not. Uh, yeah, so leave a comment with your thoughts. Love hearing from you guys, and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.